Hello, my name is Bob Willis, and this month on the Defect Database, we look at solder skips. Now, solder skips are related to a defect that you see with surface mount components which are mounted on the bottom side and are wave soldered in place. A solder skip refers to an open joint where there is no solder between the termination and the pad on the printed circuit board. Now, unfortunately, sometimes people refer to these as insufficients. Well, clearly they're not because there is no solder. A solder skip can be no solder on the pad and no solder on the lead, or alternatively, it could be solder on the pad and no solder on the lead or just solder on the lead. So the important thing is to look at where the defect actually is. Depending on where the solder is or isn't can indicate why the defect has occurred. Often people refer to this also as just non-wetting or poor solderability, but it really isn't. And the important thing is to look at the defect and then attribute a cause to it. Over the years, there have been many reasons for this particular type of defect. But as an example, if there is no solder on the pad or on the lead of the component, then clearly no solder has got there. So it's probably more related to the process, like the wave height. Now wave on wave soldering systems can vary, and this is quite often caused by poor control of the wave height or poor control of the amount of solder in the solder pot. Where you get solder skips on pads, it can also be related to the solder mask thickness, something that is very rarely specified in a drawing. It can also be generated by outgassing of the flux, where there is too much volatile present around the termination. The actual size of the pad. The important thing here when you get solder skips is the length of the pad, not the actual total size. The reason being that a bubble can form around the component so the solder can't get to the termination point. If you extend the pad rather than actually increase the whole uh, size of the pad, you improve the yield. Now ideally when we talk about resist as an issue, then resist height is important. Now generally speaking, the goal should be to have resist the same height as the pad or lower than the pad surface, at least around the edges where there is no track coming into the pad. An unusual reason for skip joints is outgassing from the solder mask itself. Now it does happen and I've seen this many times.